Today is day three of the third Lebanon war. First two days was defined by random explosions and people just blowing up. Whoops. Don't buy a pager anytime soon or a walkie talkie or any electronic devices anywhere near Lebanon, Iran, Gaza, Syria, Iraq. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. But today, the third day is defined by explosions. Big, massive explosions. Over 100 airstrikes the IDF carried out on southern Lebanon. Hezbollah has been feeling it today as more and more members are declared dead over and over and over and over. Non-stop airstrikes. They took out hundreds of rockets and dozens of rocket and missile launchers. Hezbollah is going to have a lot harder time firing all those 150,000 missiles and rockets if they don't have any launchers to fire them from. It is a great day, and it's only day three. What else is in store? There's so much. Who knows, right? Hezbollah has said, everyone stay where you are. Uh, no, no, people are fleeing. There's no, almost no more civilians in southern Lebanon. And uh, they're all in the countrysides. They're all north. Only ones left are Hezbollah terrorists. Well, those are legitimate military targets. and They're about to go. So uh, Lebanon is finding out. And finally, the freedom-loving people of Lebanon are happy and celebrating as Hezbollah is systematically dismantled. The war has started earlier today. Two Israelis were killed in a missile attack on villages in northern Israel. And the response, as we've seen, has been drastic. Israel has no longer just let, will no longer just let Israelis be killed by Hezbollah rockets and missiles. They will exact a strong price on Lebanon, on Hezbollah. The United States is calling for a ceasefire. Britain is calling for a ceasefire. France is calling for a ceasefire. But those same countries, their airlines, have canceled flights for the next few months till the end of the year. Because they know this war is inevitable. Because it's already started. And today is day three. And we will update you on more tomorrow. Of course, there is some more unconfirmed reports like an explosion at a ballistic missile factory in Iran. Things are definitely happening. The Israeli defense minister is being replaced from Yoav Gallant to Gideon Sar. That's a big development. Many things are taking place. So make sure to come back tomorrow for day four. Who, who knows what day four is going to bring? No one knows at this point.